no, the Terminator thing is going to come true. The robots are going to take over the world. We all are going to die. No way, Jose. Calm down. Pop culture sure has set an intimidating theme for robots, making us think of only doomsday, end of the world saga. But in reality, we are nowhere there or probably never will be. I mean, why would they do that? The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. Okay, there might be a motive or two, but still, it won't. We'll worry about that later. But first, let's look at the cool humanoids that are being developed. Last week, Figure AI, a robotic startup, released a demo video of its humanoid, Figure 01, where it was seen conversing and performing tasks. It looked pretty cool, a wee bit creepy, but it sure was impressive. It will be, considering how this robotic startup is funded by some of the biggest tech giants such as Microsoft, Nvidia, Intel, Bezos, and my favorite, OpenAI. Figure raised $675 million in its last funding round. Because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. What a cool voice too. The neural networks in Figure delivers fast, low-level, dexterous robot actions, and the company has said that combining it with OpenAI models provides high-level visual and language intelligence. The humanoids are able to converse on end-to-end -end neural networks. While Figure might be relatively new to the market, just two years old, the results have only been promising. On the other hand, Boston Dynamics, the engineering and robotics company, has been in this field for over two decades now. has evolved over the years and can do a lot of cool things, including lifting weights, jumping, rolling, somersaulting, but cannot talk. Well, to be fair, Boston Dynamics started in the early 90s when robotics developments were in its nascent stage, whereas Brett Adcock founded Figure just two years ago when AI advancements were only peaking. And let's not forget the humanoids developed by Tesla, the Optimus. The advanced humanoids are designed to perform tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or perhaps even boring for humans. It can even do yoga. Apollo, a general-purpose humanoid robot, has been adopted in Mercedes-Benz factories to complete manual tasks on its assembly line. As of now, these humanoid robots are built for the purpose of service assist, best implemented in warehouses or factories where manual tasks can be performed by these robots. Amazon, the biggest e-retailer in the world, is already using them. The broad uses of these humanoids will expand to fit various domains in the future, including healthcare and even space exploration. And the path to get there will probably not be too long. Until then, we'll probably keep building and testing them. Wow, forget about testing robots this way. We'll see how a human reacts when you put them through the same test. Why poke the bear, man? Don't trouble the trouble. If you trouble the trouble, trouble troubles you. An interesting aspect of these robots is our desire to create them with as close a resemblance to humans as possible. I mean, look at this. Whoops, okay, maybe we don't want them to be exactly human-like. I'm talking about Figure 01. It even stutters in between while talking, giving a very human-esque feel. Plus, did you see the way it extends its arms out before answering? I do that too, like the whatever, man. The strides Figure Robotics has made in recent times is akin to OpenAI's rise with ChatGPT. The advancements are not only fast-paced, but real use cases will emerge. Well, you may even see a day when these robots may become your go-to companion. Okay, not a life companion, we'll stick to being friends. Thank you for watching my reaction video. I'm Vandana Nair from Analytics India magazine.